Hello, hello, good evening, class. Welcome. Hola, chicos, bienvenido. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. <coughs> Hi Daniel, hello Oscar, hi Johnny, hello Edgar. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, welcome. En un momento me incorporé a la con video con la cámara, teacher. Okay. Bienvenidos chicos nuevamente, ya estamos por acá. Hola, buenas noches. Hello, hello, good evening. Uh, Daniel, welcome. Bienvenido, Daniel. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hi. Voy manejando, teacher. Eh, me he, he puesto de oyente, aquí lo voy escuchando. Ok, thank you. Gracias, teacher. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with our warming up activity and just uh, give me a couple of seconds, okay? Okay, so we're, we're going to start creating some double H questions um, based on what we studied in the previous class, right? So we have uh, some structures. I'm going just to show you that the structure and then you tell me which is the correct order, right? So you can start doing that. Okay, perfecto, gracias chicos ahí por notificar. So we have double H plus auxiliary verb, eh, do or does, and subject plus the verb. So this is our structure for the double H questions. So this is one of the structures. Let's see, what is the correct order for this question? Ideas? Vamos a ordenar ahí la oración. Me dicen ahí si ya se ve. ¿Ya se ve completo, chicos? Yo creo que sí. Sí se ve completo. Okay, so which is the correct um, order? So try to do it. The first, uh, it's the double H words, and we're going to start. What? Okay, what, what do? do you do? Okay, what do you do? In your free time. Okay, what do you do in your free time? Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Let's continue with question number two. Question two. What is your name? Okay, and this is the second, uh, well, this is the, the other structure uh, where you use verb to be, right? Double H plus verb to be, okay? And then you add the rest. Okay, so the question is, Daniel, what is? What is your name? Uh-huh, what is your name? Perfect. How about this one? Y de esta, chicos, ¿cuál uno nos quedaría? This is a Do yes, no like question. chocolate? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you like chocolate? Okay. So we have a yes, no question, right? So which is the structure for yes, no questions? ¿Cuál es la estructura, chicos, de, de las yes, no questions? Auxiliary, do or does, plus what? Subject, right? And a main verb. Okay. 
What do you think about this question? ¿Y qué hay de ahí de esa, de esa oración que tenemos ahí, chicos? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Breakfast, you have what? Do you what do you have? Ay, no for venía breakfast. Ah, super easy, right? What do you have? What do you have for for breakfast? Mm, okay, what do you have for breakfast? Okay, interesting. Okay, how about this one? So start to order that. Start to order that. Lunch or lunch? Uh -huh. Ah, lunch. So it's um, an N. I'm missing N. Ahí falta la N. That's all right. Okay. So the word is lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the word is lunch. What do you have? Excellent. What do you have? Okay. For lunch. Okay. How about the next one? Let's see. You're ready. Yes, no question. You do broccoli like. Do you like broccoli? Do you like broccoli? Do you like? Okay. Do you like broccoli? No. Right. <laughs> well, I don't. Okay, how about this one? What do you think? School go what do time you too? What do you uh huh? What do you mm -hmm. what time? What, what time, time? Go mm -hmm. school? What time do you go to a school? Go to school. What time? Asking about time. Okay, number eight. Birthday, when is your? When is your birthday? Okay, interesting. When is your birthday? Excellent. Is your father who? So organize that question. Organize the question. Who is your father? Uh huh. Who is your father? Perfect. Okay. Ten. Super easy. This is a, a bonus. <laughs> Where uh -huh. are you from? Where are you from? Para para escuchar a Mari. No sé si era Mari. Okay. Where are you from? Excellent. Next question. Question 11. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you, like? do you live? Live. Where do you live? Live. Okay. Oh, so we have a long a question. This is a double H question. Double H question. What happened? ¿Qué les pasó? <laughs> okay. What, uh, what, what pencil? Okay. What? Perfect. One point. What? What pencil? Pencil. Let's see. No. You? No. No. Uh -huh. It turns green when it's correct. Case. ¿Qué es el case? Pencil case. Okay. Okay, so so no, not yet. What do you pencil in your case? Okay, what do you? Okay, what do you? Pencil in your case. Oh. Okay, so read it again. We need a main verb. What do you pencil how in your case? Mm, okay, so you're forgetting this. Look at this. You're omitting the verb. You're missing the verb. Uh huh. What do you have? Okay. What do you have? 
Your pencil case, la cajita donde guardan ahí los colores, los lapiceros. So, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Pencil. Pencil. In your, in your, in case. your case. Mm, okay, the opposite. In. What do you have in your pencil case? Okay, what do you have in your pencil case? So, so, almost there. Casi, casi. Okay. Do you like school? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you like school? And the last one, let's see how well you do it. How come do you to school? How? How do you come to school? Okay, perfect. How do you come to school? Okay, excellent. So now let's check the, the whole sentences. Okay. Look at this. So these are the questions. Okay, so what do you do in your free time? Double H, auxiliary, subject, uh, main verb, right? La palabra doble H, el verbo auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo principal. Uh, what is your name? So it uh, follows the third structure, double H plus uh, to be. Do you like chocolate? This is a yes, no question. What do you have for breakfast? Double H question. And what do you have for lunch? Let's see. What do you do in your free time? Johnny, Johnny, tell me. What do you do in your free time? Um, I like to uh, watch TV series. Okay. So you like to watch TV series. And how about you, Daniel? What do you do? I like to read uh, any book. Any book. Okay, interesting. How about you, Dora? Hello, Dora, you here? Dora, what do you I do like, in your free time? Uh huh. I like um, in my house. Oh, okay, well, okay, it doesn't sound like a hobby. No suena yeah. como un hobby, <laughs> pero es lo más parecido. <laughs> ok, thank you, Dora. Bien, yeah, let's see. Ajá, dígame, Dora. Yeah, ya no escuché. Soñémosle. <laughs> okay. okay, what do you have for breakfast? Let's see. Uh, Johnny, tell me, what do you have for breakfast? I eat... Um... Hot cakes. Hot cakes. Hot cakes. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Mario or oh, Oscar. Okay. Oscar, what do you have for lunch or breakfast? You decide. Lunch. Uh, I like to see sandwich. Sandwich. How do you say sandwich in English? Did you? Let's say sandwich. 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 Uh -huh. Sandwich. Okay, so you have a sandwich for breakfast or for lunch? For lunch. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, and... Okay, perfect. How about you? Let's see. Ah, okay, and Jonathan, Jonathan, tell us. Do you like chocolate, Jonathan? What is Jonathan? Jonathan, hello, hello. Okay, how about the rest? Do you like chocolate, guys? ¿Le gusta el chocolate? Sí, no. Um, tell yes, me. I like chocolate. I drink chocolate? chocolate and I eat chocolate. Okay, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Oh, okay, perfect. Mm, well, I think that chocolate is, well, it's delicious, right? So that's why we cannot avoid eating chocolate. <laughs> no podemos evitar eso, <laughs> ni modo. 
Okay, so now we will continue. Um, and uh, let me see. We have some penny activities. And based on that, we will continue with some activities related to um okay to the double h questions uh to the topic that we studied yesterday and we're gonna have a discussion right now so tell me guys what time do you get up on week weekdays what time do you get up on weekdays daniel tell me i get up 5 a.m 5 a.m okay 5 Okay, uh, Daniel, as a classmate, what time do you get up on weekdays as a classmate? Ah, okay, uh, Johnny, what time do you get up on week weekdays? Uh, I get up at uh, 5.30 a.m. Okay, continue, Johnny. Select another victim. <laughs> um... Oscar, where do you eat lunch? In my work. Uh -huh. Okay. At work, at a cafeteria, at work. Okay. How about, okay, Oscar, continue with the next question. What do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? Tell us some activities. What do you do on weekends, Edgar? Edgar, hello, hello, Edgar. Tell us, what do you do on weekends? Tell us about your activities. For example, what do you do on weekends? Um, tell me, do you work, guys? Do you work, you all? La pregunta para todos. What do you do on weekends? Do you work? Do you study? Do you rest? Do you sleep? Do you watch TV? What do you do? Watch TV. Okay, I watch TV. Any special program or TV show? Series. Ah, series. Okay. What else? What else? Uh, what else do you do? Guys, tell me. Mario, Oscar, um, Kevin, Johnny, Edgar, Daniel, Dora. What else? What else? I rest all weekends. You rest all weekend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Daniel. Yes. I I go to buy. Okay. You go. Go buy a comprar. Okay. Uh, to the, to the supermarket. Uh -huh. Supermarket. Okay. Dora. Al parque. Al Okay. I go to the park. Okay. Interesting. Mario. Mario. Tell us, Mario. I go to the gym. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, bien, ¿no? Ok. Me caso con de lejos. Esa sonrisa que no crea, Baticha. Eres que parece a mí. Esa sonrisa de que no cree. Eh. No, como no, si creo en ustedes. Vamos. No. Ah, no. Ok, Edgar, tell us what you do on weekends. Yo voy con Mario. <risa> Edgar, how about you? What do you do on weekends? Uh, <clears throat> I play soccer. You play soccer? Mm, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. No creo. Mm, so, so, let's see. Next question. Where do you go shopping? If you go shopping um, any day of the... Uh, the any day. So tell tell me, where do you go shopping? Do you go to Walmart, to the supermarket, to let's say any other place? Tell me, where do you go shopping? I go shopping. 
I go shopping at Super Selectos. Okay, I go shopping to Super Selectos. Super Selectos. Okay, what else? Johnny, where do you go shopping? Any idea? So you can mention any place. I go shopping to Despensa de Don Juan. Okay, Despensa de Don Juan. Edgar? So we can meet any, any day. Okay, ya sé dónde lo voy a encontrar si lo veo alguna vez. Depends on one. Let's see. Dora, where do you go shopping? Shopping. The... To the market, oh. for example. To the market. Al mercado. I go to the market. <laughs> I go to La Tiendona, for example. Where do you go shopping? Supermarket. La Tiendona. Well, that's a market. I, I go to, let's say, any other store. Okay. Any other. Metro, okay. Any other, any other, sir? Not that ones, okay. Okay, interesting. Um, what books or magazines do you read, guys? What books or magazines do you read? Tell me, ¿qué libros o revistas leen? I like my I like science fiction. Okay, science fiction. Okay. Okay, so give me an example. One a book that you have read? I read about Pablo Coelho or Paulo mm -hmm. Coelho. Motivational motivation books. Motivation. Yes, yes too. Uh -huh. I like, I read motivation book. Okay, motivational books. Motivational. Or inspirational. Okay, inspiration books. I like to read. Okay. 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 Johnny, do you like to read? So what books or magazines do you read? Any particular book or a magazine? Um, I read the book El Principito. El Principito, okay. Okay. Edgar, how about you? I don't read. <laughs> you don't read. Uh, magazines, the newspaper, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay. Dora, tell me, Dora. How about you, Dora? Do you like to read any book or magazine? So what do you read? What books? Mm. Any book? About the cook. Ah, okay. Cooking books. Okay. Interesting. Okay. What TV programs do you watch? Let's move into the question uh, number six. What TV programs do you watch? Edgar, probably this one. What TV programs do you watch? Any TV program? Movies. Uh-huh. Tell me. Um, I don't know. So what is the name of this um, TV program? Um, I... Uh-huh. I watch CSI in Miami. Okay, I watch. Can you spell that? C S C S I I. Okay. Miami. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna check this one because you you're watching that. How about you, Johnny? Any TV program? Uh, I like the the Office. Office, the Office. Okay, this way, the Office. The Office. Yes, yes. Okay, it's on uh, Netflix or where? Yes, yes, in Netflix. Okay, how about you, Dora? Any TV program that you watch? 
No, no TV programs. No. Edgar, how about you, Edgar? Mario, tell me, Mario. I watch, ¿cómo se le llamaría esta serie en español? ¿Cómo se lee? ¿Cómo se le llamaría esta serie en español? No, sería, I watch uh, The Walking Dead. <laughs> ah, ok, yo pensé que así era. Okay. No, no, no. The Walking Dead, ok. Ok, and let's see, um, who else? Anybody else who wants to share? William, William, any TV program that you watch? I like to watch a series called The Kings. Okay. Okay, The Kings. The, king, the Kings. The ah, Kingdom. okay. Yeah. The Kings. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so now I know a little bit more about you. Okay, important question. Why do you study English? Why do you study English, guys? Tell me. I, I study English because I travel. Uh -huh. I want to? I want to travel. Okay. Because I, I want to visit USA. <laughs> ah, okay. I want to visit USA. Interesting. Johnny, how about you, Johnny? Um, because this is in interesting. Okay, it's interesting for you. Do you like, I don't know, um, observing people talking in English? Are you interested in communicating with uh, foreign people? With, yeah, or traveling? Any special purpose, uh, Johnny? Algún propósito más específico, Johnny? Or just because you like it? Um, yes, yes, and I, I want to travel. You want to travel uh -huh. as well. Okay. Okay, uh, how about you, Edgar? What is Edgar? Hi, Edgar. My teacher, because I needed my work. Ah, okay, because I need it. Okay, I need it to be promoted, could be, okay. Para ser ascendido. I need it to be promoted. Okay. Uh, well, it could be, right? Puede ser. Ahí yo le estoy dando una idea. Hey, Dora, tell me, Dora. Dora, why do you study English? Se ha cortado, Dora. Se ha cortado. Okay, let's continue okay. with uh -huh, uh, Dora. Dígame. Soy el cortado. Ahora sí, ya le escucho. Why? Why do you study English? Why do you study English? I don't know. Do you want to travel? Do you want to get another job? Do you want a new job? Um, do you want to study abroad? I for for job. Okay. I, I want to. I need for job. For okay. Job. Because I need it for need it. uh -huh, for my job. Okay, because I need it. Because I need it for my job. Que lo necesito para mi empleo. Or for a new uh, job. For your uh, for current job. job. Mm -hmm. For my current job. Para mi trabajo actual. O pueden ponerle ahí que lo necesitan para un trabajo nuevo. For a new job. Okay. Okay, interesting. Fernando, how about you, Fernando? Why do you study English? Tell me. What is your... Uh -huh. Uh, for uh, understanding the content of the solution information. 
or or maybe um, uh, documentation of a uh, uh, firewall, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, I need to. Um, okay, be able to read and understand. Okay, yeah. the language. Okay, the language. Okay, uh, in order the, to. Uh -huh. The soluciones informáticas, como. La mayoría del contenido de, de las diferentes soluciones de informática, el, el contenido está en, en inglés. Si uno se va, por ejemplo, a... a hay, hay algún problema y uno de, desea buscarlo, documentarlo, casi siempre se encuentra en inglés ¿no? y pocas uh -huh. veces en español. Entonces, como para entender eso. Uh -huh. Ok. So it could be, I need it. Ok. I need it. To be able to read and understand, or okay, to read and understand the language, podríamos omitir esa parte, ¿verdad? porque al entenderlo, al entenderlo significa que dominamos las cuatro competencias. Okay, I needed to be able to understand the language in order to provide, con el propósito de proveer soluciones tecnológicas, las cuales no están okay. en, en español, podría ser. No sé yeah. si. Ajá, pues me parece que podríamos irnos por ahí. Ok, so you can copy this. Like, I needed to be able to understand the language in order to provide IT solutions which are not in Spanish, las cuales no están en español. So you need to understand that all that information in order to provide that the solutions, right? Okay. Any problem that you may have. Mm -hmm. Ok, interesting. Okay, perfect. So I have learned for you. Um, okay, um, next question. How do you relax in the evenings? How do you relax? What do you do? How do you relax? Do you rest? Do you sleep? Do you watch TV? Do you listen to music? Guys? I listen to music. You listen to music. Okay, what kind of music do you listen? Uh, classical music. Okay, okay, okay. Classical, interesting. Any special, let's say, singer? Uh, well, not singer, I think. Uh, any special? Yes. Uh huh. Tell me. Beethoven or, or... Beethoven. Mozart. Mozart. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Fernando? How do you relax? Uh... Maybe is uh, swimming in the pool. Okay, you like swimming. Do you have a pool in your house? Uh, yes, but it's, it's pequeña. Small. Mm -hmm. It's a it's small, small pool. Okay, yeah. And well, if the rest um, don't have it as Fernando, you can use the pillar, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Fernando. I'm just kidding. And uh, Carmen, Carmen, tell us, um, Edgar, tell us, how do you relax in the evenings? How do you relax in the evenings? Carmen? Carmen ya está por acá. Vamos a ver, Carmen. How do you relax in the evenings? Ah, no, no, no me aparece ahí, Carmen. Vamos a ver quién más está por acá. Um, how about you, Mario? How do you relax in the evenings? Uh, watch TV. <laughs> you watch TV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that, that's great, right? You turn off the lights and then you watch a program that you like. Okay. Excellent, guys. So now we will continue with um, an exercise. But I need you to, dis you to discuss these questions with your classmates. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay. Vamos a dar cinco minutos para que las discutan, así como lo hemos estado haciendo. Compartiendo con sus compañeros. So you can add some more uh, follow-up questions. Pueden agregar más preguntas, right? If you have a question, just ask uh, your classmates. Tienen preguntas, vayan preguntándole a los compañeros. But in English, right? So try to use the language. Let's see. Um, so as I mentioned, you're going to have five minutes. Sure. Dígame, dígame. Puede, puede mandar el, el, el link o solo tomamos captura. Ajá. Okay. Eso. Okay, Mandaría captura. Correcto. Ahí, ahí ya se ve. 
Thank you. Ok. Vamos a ver si dije el mismo. Me avisan si alguien no ha recibido invitación o ahí les mando una a través de aquí del chat de acá de, de Zoom. Y nos vamos incorporando a la sala. Muy bien, perfecto. Uh, necesitamos ahí al iPhone. Eduardo está oyente. Jonathan. Vamos a ver, Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Las preguntas. Pero también se las voy a enviar aquí por el chat. Okay. Perfecto. Gracias. Listo, ya lo tenemos. Ah, también me mandó la captura. Listo. Eh, si gustan, voy a hacer la pregunta yo a Dora. Dora la contesta y se la hace a William. Y William la contesta y me la hace a mí. Vamos repasando una por una. Ok. Ok. Eh, Dora, what time do you get up on what with good days? Um, I get up at six AM. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, William. Where do you eat lunch? Um, ¿Cómo haría la pregunta? Where do you eat lunch? Ah... Uh, I I eat in my house. I eat okay. my lunch in my house. Okay. ¿A quién le pregunto yo? A Adora okay. siempre. A Fernando. Mm -hmm. What What do you do on weekends? Uh, on weekend, I visit my parents and uh, I travel to Chalatenango. Chalatenango. Yes. Uh, Dora, where do you go shopping? I shopping. In the supermarket. Okay. Any what, else? What? The book. How many things do you read? Um, I like to read Edgar Allan Poe stories. Fernando. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Do you have hello. the picture? Okay. 
Do you have the questions? Sí, la estamos. Bueno, yo las estoy haciendo. Ah, okay. So try to discuss that with uh, Mario. Dígame. Eh, Ahí le van sí. discutiendo. Ajá. Eh, sí, tengo la captura. Ah, ok. La pueden compartir para que vayan discutiéndola. Uh -huh. Ok. Hola, cinco. What books or magazine do you read? I read a magazine sports. <laughs> Magazine sport, interesting. I don't read magazine sport. I read what book? Uh, the pregunta is what book or magazine? Or magazine do you read? Do you read? Uh -huh. Teacher, una pregunta. ¿Cómo saber cuando cuando una palabra va antes que la otra? Depende ahí cuando sean, por ejemplo, adjetivos. Hay una regla este gramatical. Ajá, a veces cuando son este adjetivos que van antes de lo que están escribiendo. Por ejemplo, si yo les pongo por acá. No sé si habíamos hablado de eso, pero okay. es un walking stick, es un bastón, ¿verdad? Un bastón para, para andar, para caminar. Uh -huh. Este walking tiene función ahí de adjetivo y después sigue el sustantivo. Una forma de, digamos, de determinar eso es indicar ahí el adjetivo antes y después va el sustantivo. El adjetivo Un bastón de caminar, para caminar sería ahí. Otro ejemplo sería sleeping bag. Un saco o una bolsa de, de dormir. Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. okay. y, y la otra forma es, eh, en este caso con los adjetivos, la otra forma es después del verbo to be, que va ubicado un adjetivo. Entonces el adjetivo puede ir antes de un sustantivo o después, o después del verbo to be, después de un linking verb. Okay. Eso es cuanto en cuestión los, el orden de los adjetivos. Mm. Bueno, las otras preguntas las mandó al. al al chat, al whatsapp entonces sería, seguimos con las seis más. what tv programs do you watch? I don't watch I don't watch tv I don't watch tv oh. I like watch eh, Chapulín Colorado I like to watch Chapulín Colorado <laughs> Pero no, la verdad que no, así no veo nada de televisión, nada, nada. A lo mucho de vez en cuando veo algo y me estoy aburrido para eso. No, que ahora sí de vez en cuando, sí. todos los días, no, así no. <risa> Y se ve que por acá. No me tengo que hablar. Ya pensé que no estaba, salió de la sala, tío. No sé, lo estoy monitoreando. Okay. <risa> y hablando bien tranquilo. Continuo. Ok. Seven sí, questions. Uh -huh. Why do you study English? Uh, because, because I want very job. Because I 
visit to USA or because I visit uh, London. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Bye. Did you finish? Tell me. Ya yeah, hicimos varias yes. vueltas. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So let's go back. Vamos a regresar. Bueno. Okay. Thanks. Que, te, que se me marean. <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome back. So we continue and we're going to have a practice uh, on the double H questions. So as you remember, uh, we were practicing the structures, um, well, in some ex some previous exercises, but we will continue checking some um, exercises, okay? So look at, let's look again at the structure. Remember, we need the double H question plus the auxiliary verb plus the subject plus a verb. And notice that the subject can be a you or can be a, it can be the, na the name, right, of that person, okay? Your mom, so that's a third person singular. Uh, your father, his brother, her brother, okay? Mario, for example, Fernando. What does Fernando cook? What does Mario cook? What does your mom cook? Where do you work? Um, where does uh, Daniel work? Okay, so that is the structure. So read the answers and write the questions with what time, where, when, what, and who, with using the word in bold as a clue. Entonces vamos a utilizar las palabras que está en negrita, in bold, okay, resaltada en negra, as a clue, como una pista. So, and we're going to use the question, what time? So, we're going to be studying this question, what time? Vamos a estar hablando un poquito ahora del tiempo y algunas actividades que hacemos eh, normalmente. Okay, so let's look at the example. What do you study at the language center? I study English at the language center. What do you study? English. So, look at this. So, this is... um an example of a double H question and the answer. So what do you study? English, I study English. So now we have the answers, we have the answers, and we have to create the questions based on these answers. Tenemos acá unas oraciones afirmativas. Basadas en estas oraciones afirmativas, vamos a crear nuestras preguntas. Mike and Jake play soccer on Saturday. Pero nos decía que utilizáramos las palabritas en negrita como pistas. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que depende de eso lo que yo voy a preguntar. Entonces, on Saturday, me está preguntando de qué? El tiempo, ¿verdad? So it could be, vamos que Double H nos está pidiendo ahí que utilicemos. Nos vamos a anotar por acá a un lado. Uh -huh. What time? Where? The other one, when? Okay, when? And I what? And the other one is who? Y te imaginas who como una preposición. Who I with? Con quién. Okay. So now let's continue. And let's look at the example. Mike and Jake play soccer on Saturday. Mike and Jake play soccer on Saturday. So what do you think? Which could be the double H question that we need? ¿Cuál podría ser la double H que necesitamos ahí, chicos? Ideas. So give me your, give me your ideas. Let me ideas. What time or when? 
what time or when. Or when. Mm -hmm. Could be. When, okay. Auxiliary verb, do or does. Do. Do, okay. Vamos a ubicar acá otra vez los auxiliares. Do, ¿con qué pronombres lo utilizamos? Con I, con you, con we, y they. Does, he, she, it, right? Okay, so now we have the clues in order to do this. When do? They. Okay. When do. So let's try the, the, the one that we have. Podría ser, podríamos poner they. Lo vamos a dejar ahí con lo que tiene. When do Mike and Jake verb? Play. Play, okay. What? Play soccer. Okay, excellent. Entonces esa pregunta. Hace match con esta respuesta, con esta oración. Mike and Jay play soccer on Saturday. Yes or no? What do you think? Sí, está bien. When do Mike and Jake play soccer? Cuando eh, juega soccer Mike y Jake? Veamos, responde a eso esta pregunta. Yes. Yes, right? On Saturday, el día sábado. Okay, next question. So pay attention to that because you're going to do, let's see, we have a, a question. So we're going to try to create at least three examples. Vamos a tratar de hacer tres ejemplos y después les dejo los demás a ustedes. Okay, Jesse gets up at 7 a.m. on weekdays. What do you think? What time? Where? When? What? Who with? Jesse gets up at 7 a.m. So look at the words in bold. Veamos ahí las palabritas en negrita. At 7. So it, it is asking about. Nos está preguntando de qué cosa. About. A person. I don't know. A place. Ajá, uh -huh, Dora. A qué hora se levanta. Ah, okay. So that is time. Time, right? Es tiempo. What, what time? Okay, what time? Auxiliary? Uh, what time? Which is the correct auxiliary for this question? Jesse gets up at 7 a.m. on weekdays. Do or does? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Look at your no, sentence. Does, yes, does. Does, uh huh. So we're talking about Jesse. What time does? Who? Jesse. Get up. Okay. Get up. First, get up. Okay. Um, um, on weekdays. On weekdays. Perfect. What time does Jesse get up on weekdays? Recuerden que acá ya no van a ubicar esto que está en negrita, ¿verdad? Porque si no estarían ubicando la respuesta en la pregunta. So that's not, that's not uh -huh. correct, right? Okay, and the next one. I live in a big house with my family. I live in a big house with my family. So what do you think? What time, where, when, what? Who with? In a big house. So it's where, asking where, right? It's asking about. Do you live? Okay. Where do you live? Okay. Where do you live? I live in a big house with my family. Excellent. So now take a screenshot and you're going to continue with the rest. Okay. Y le dejo ahí las otras. Okay, let's see one, two, three, four, and five questions. So I'm gonna be helping you in the breakout rooms. Okay, so take a picture. So I have sent you that to the um, okay to the meeting chat, and now I'm gonna open the breakout rooms. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. So you have five questions. 
So you have to create the five questions and remember to keep in mind this information that you have in bold. Because that's going to be key when you uh, create your questions. Pueden tomar en cuenta esta información cuando creen sus preguntas. So it's going to be really useful. Okay, so join the breakout rooms. Nos venimos ahí a las salas, chicos. Y ya pasamos a ir verificando cada uno. Pues en la tarde. ¿Sí? Entonces, Así sería. como es un, como es tiempo, ¿Sí? sería, pudiera, pudiera ser buen. Y si sería por la tarde. O up time también. Ajá. Sería... Eh, Luca, bueno, sería Luca y sus amigos. Eh, Luke goes to the cinema with friends on Tuesday evening. Ajá, pero lo vamos a, más que todo, poner, pongámosle un, a las tres en punto. No, porque la, la cosa es que la respuesta es, es la respuesta, lo que está en negrito es lo que tenemos que, que poner en en, en en la respuesta según no en la pregunta quiero ver cómo estaba la otra Mira que la otra está. Ah, es que eso que está en negrito es la parte de la respuesta, pero eso no va en la pregunta. Por eso sería. Eh... Es. Gwen. Does Luke go to the cinema with friends? Para mí sería Luke by friends eh, Tuesday, porque como esa, esa sería Tuesday. Sería. O sea, la respuesta es Luke goes to the cinema muera. with friends. On Tuesday evenings. Uh -huh. Pero la pregunta, tenemos que formular la pregunta. O sea. Ah, ya, ya entendí, no había entendido. Mm. No, no había entendido. Buen, dos. Hello, guys. Do you need help or any question? Preguntas, chicos. Eh, a ver. Yo ando algo perdido. ¿Qué le pasó? Johnny, Johnny está por acá. Sí. A ver. Este, sí, me he quedado en las seis porque no logro. ¿A las seis? Sí. Vaya, vamos, las seis dice Carol Works. Es la de abajo, Carol Works. No, la, ah, pues no, la número cinco sería. Ah, la cinco, ok. La cinco es Adam and Donna have cereal for breakfast. 
Ok. Que, eh, digamos, eh, podría ser que, empecemos con la double H, sería what, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Aquí la pregunta, ¿qué es lo que cena? ¿Qué cena Adam y Donna? Cereal. Para el, perdón, ¿qué, qué desayunan? ¿Qué comen sí. para el desayuno? Cereal. Entonces aquí sería what y el auxiliar, ¿cómo nos quedaría ahí? Adam y Donna. What they... No. No, el auxiliar. El auxiliar sería, depende del sujeto que tenga ahí. Adam y Donna, ¿es un sujeto singular o plural? Mm, sería un plural porque son dos personas. Exacto, son dos personas. Vaya, ahora... Ok, ahora veamos eso. Utilizamos do con I, you, we, they. Y das con he, she, it. Ok, entonces, ¿cuál sería nuestro auxiliar en este caso? Sería do. Do, correcto. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene un sujeto plural ahí. Adam y Donna quiere decir ellas. Sí. Bueno. Ok. What do? Ahora voy a ubicar qué sigue después del auxiliar, del sujeto. Adam en Donna. Ok. Ahora mi verbo principal. ¿Cuál sería mi verbo principal ahí en esa oración? El verbo. Um. Exacto. What do Adam and Donna have? ¿Para qué? Para. Para el desayuno. O sea, acá ya no puedo incorporar la para, palabra serial porque eso sería poner la respuesta en la pregunta y no tiene sentido. ¿no? Sí. Entonces, acá abajo ya me confirma ahora. Si mi pregunta contesta esto que está acá abajo, está correcto. What do Adam and Donna have for breakfast? ¿Qué desayunan en Adam y Donna? Cereal. Cereal para el desayuno. Ajá. Así tiene que ir haciendo las siguientes. Identificando cuál es la double H. Identificando el auxiliar. Y para identificar el auxiliar tienen que identificar si es un sujeto que puede ser I, you, we, or they. O si es he, she, it. Para ubicar el das. Ya, ya voy entendiendo. Uh -huh. Vale, uh, tratemos de hacer la número 6. <coughs> el Johnny no está por acá, ¿verdad? Se, se, ah, se puso de diente. Vale. Vamos a ver. Me lo voy a llevar a, a otro grupo y donde voy a ubicar a Johnny también. Vale. Y nos vamos en el 3. Quiero ver la otra. Ah, verdad, pero por donde trabaja Karen. Vaya. Tiene la otra. Poner la otra. Mm, sí, pero no sí, la puedo pasar ver. así, ¿verdad? Yo tengo que borrar pues. uh -huh. eh, y la otra oh. se mira Sí, sí, sí. Sí, la siete. Es que no sé por qué al final no se me ve, pero bueno. ¿Usted lo logra visualizar? Sí, creo que sí. Pero bien, en la siete vamos, dice. ¿A dónde nos quedamos? En la siete, en la siete. Yo hablo inglés con mis compañeros en el salón. I speak English with Mm -hmm. 
Ese día. En el salón, dice. Entonces, ese día, where? Más classmates son los compañeros. Uh -huh. Where? Ese día, where? Entonces, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde hablas inglés, vea? No, ¿dónde, no, no, ¿dónde yo quién? hablo? ¿O con quién, quizás? Ah, también, ajá. Ajá, porque dijo que la, lo que está en negrito es la respuesta. Entonces es which. which. No, who. Who. Who is, who. Ah, ¿con quién? Ajá. ¿Con quién hablo yo inglés? Uh -huh. Which. Who. Who do who do speak? Who do speak? Speak English. Mm -hmm. Who y el auxiliar? Do. Uh, vamos a ver, está en la número. ¿Qué número va? La siete. La siete. Okay, vamos a ver. La siete es. I speak English with my classmates in the classroom. Ajá. ¿Con quién hablo yo inglés? Ah, ok. Who uh -huh. do you speak English with? Uh -huh. With. El with lo ponemos with. Al, al final. Ajá. Uh -huh. Al final, with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who do you speak uh -huh. English with? ¿Con quién hablas inglés? Uh -huh. Ok. Hay más o menos. Y la de abajo dice Megan. Star. Uy. Eh, y la mando al grupito, al grupo. Hello, hello, guys. Did you finish? Eh, ya casi. No, ya. Es que nos, se nos ha dificultado un poquito para ir como con la lectura, pero... Sí, le hemos hallado. Mm -hmm. Ok. Let's see, but you, I noticed that you have omitted the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary verb? ¿En qué pregunta? ¿En what mm -hmm. question? Ok, question four. Four, four, four. Uh, four. Uh -huh. when, when Luke goes to the cinema with friends. Ok. When, Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, that's correct. But in the auxiliary verb. Lo goes. Ah, okay, that's the. Um, mm, uh, okay. Look, look to the cinema with friends. Si estamos hablando de Luca y sus amigos, serían ellos, vea. Go sería. Exacto, vaya, en las preguntas, en las preguntas, ah, yo no modificamos okay. los verbos. No vamos a modificar, aunque sea tercera persona, no se modifica. Ah, ok, entonces sí está bien así como lo tenemos. No, tendríamos que cambiar el verbo ahí. Y ubicar el verbo auxiliar también. When does Luke go to the cinema? With eh, ah, okay. friends. When does, when Ajá. does. Ah, pues quedaría, when does Luke go to the cinema with friends. Ajá. Ok. Y ahí Bien. lo mismo en la siguiente. What Adam and Donna... Ok, what do Adam what and do? Donna have for breakfast? Ok. Listo, entonces lo repetimos. Vamos a ver, la siguiente también necesitamos cambiarla. La where Carol works as a chef. Where does, entonces, where uh -huh, does, does Carol work, where... work uh -huh. as a chef? As a okay. chef. Mm -hmm. Where uh -huh. does... Pero aquí uh -huh. se... Dígame. Aquí, aquí sería, where eh, does, porque... He, she, he, he. Ah, pues sí, where does, porque es él, vea, Carol. Ajá, uh -huh. eh, sí, ahí es. Where does, ok. No sé si es él o es ella. Pero es, es un <ríe> él o ella. 
<risa> en este tiempo, teacher. Pero creo que no, no permite modificar, vamos a borrarlo. <risa> Sí. Ay, <risa> ya va a llorar. En estos tiempos no se sabe, dice. Vamos a hacer. Es peligroso, compadre. Vamos a dejar eso. Bien, sí. Vamos. Lo dejamos así. Vamos a trabajarlo después. Y sería, eh, ¿cuál era? Sería, when, when does, when, when does, when does, look, look, go, go to the eh, cinema, with friends, cine, cinema, Wait. With friends. Prefiero que quede como marginal. With friends. Ok. Eh, la otra es. What do Adam and Dana? What? Do, do Adam and Dan. Um, um, Dan have have for breakfast. For breakfast. Breakfast. El otro sería. Carol Ward. Carol Ward has a chef. Where? Where, where does Carol where Ward? Does Carol Ward? Creo que el, aquí el es queda como work, nada más si el la S porque lleva el verbo auxiliar. Sí, sí. Where does has work? Chef. Where does Carol work? As a chef. Where's does Carol work? Work as a chef. As a chef. Sí, así está bien. And the seven. Sí, yes. I speak in English with I speak English with I my classmate and the with class. my classmate in the class. Where? Where? When? Cuando habla? Cuando yo speak? Sí, podría ser when, when, cuando, o oh, what, oh. por qué, what, why, no, es why, ese no, sería what, mm. where, when, cuando, what, who, with, with, con, con, quién es, con quién es, what? no, tiene que ser what, cuando, la pregunta dice, I speak English with my classmate in the classroom, cuándo, When, when, when do we speak in English? When do, do, no? when do I speak? When do I, sería llevaría el pronombre aquí, do I speak? Speak, I speak English. With, with, ah, no, no sería así, with. Bien. Bien. When, cuando, when, tú, I speak English. Who, con, quién, with, I speak English with my classmate. Okay. 
where, when, cuando, where, donde, what time, what, who, the who, Mira esta última, este no sé cómo quedaría, porque dice, I speak English, when, cuando yo hablo, cuando yo hablo inglés en clases, with, lleva el with, sería, who, quién hay, who, quién hay, no sé cómo quedaría eso. Hello, hello, guys. Let's see how you did it. Vamos a ver, chicos, ahí cómo les quedó. Um, question number, um, let's see, number six. Um, well, let's see. Four. Okay. So I have um, number five. What do Adam and Donna have for breakfast? Number six. What do you have for number six? ¿Cómo les quedó ahí la seis? Carol works as a chef in a French restaurant. Let's see, Daniel, Fernando, what do you have? Where does? Okay. Where? Oh, okay. Does Adam and Donna? That Adam and Donna is oh. a singular. Ah. Uh -huh. um, Adam and Donna. Is it singular subject or plural? What do Adam and Donna what? have what? for breakfast? Okay. Yes, okay. anterior. What do what do oh yeah, you're you're right, right? Okay, uh number the next one. Carol works as a chef in a French restaurant. Where does Carol work as a chef? Where does Carol work, work as a chef? As a chef. Okay, chef. Yeah. Okay, number seven. Number seven. What do you have? I speak English with my classmates in the classroom. Which do you speak English in the classroom with? Okay, so it would be who, right? Who, who do you speak English? Okay, so how do you speak English with? ¿Con quién hablas inglés? Okay, or we can add this. Okay. Who do you speak English in the classroom with? I speak English with my classmates. Then number eight, what do you have for number eight? Fernando or Dora? Uh, is what time? Does Megan start uh -huh. her yoga class? Okay, her yoga class. Okay, what time? At, At eight. 
8 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Perfect. Okay, excellent. So now we will continue with the next part. And we're going to be studying a little bit about that time. How to say the time in English. How do we say this in English? So which is the correct form of saying the time? Primero, nos vamos a aprender este, algunos aspectos de acá. Tenemos en este relojito. And, okay, look at this. We have uh, this clock. This is a clock. And we have uh, the hours, right? So the, an hour is considered um, because it is com composed, let's say, of uh, 60 minutes, right? An hour, we have minutes. And we're going to start uh, analyzing the hours from 12 to 6. Vamos a empezar de este lado. Desde las 12 a las 6, we're going to use the word pass. Podemos decirlo de dos maneras, la hora en inglés. Podría ser. Una, como nosotros lo, normalmente lo hemos aprendido en español, decirles algo las 5 y 10. It's fine. Ten. 5 y 10. Esa es una de las formas. Ahora, la otra forma es aprendiéndonos esto. esto. Y nosotros empezamos a contar desde las 12 hasta las 6. ¿Y qué es lo que vamos a utilizar? La palabra past. Vamos ahí en ejemplo. It's five past. Aquí vamos contando los minutos que han pasado después de la hora que mencionemos. Cualquier hora. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, it's five past. Ya que son las, eh, las once y cinco, las doce y cinco. It's five past twelve. Eso quiere decir que allá acá yo inicio con los minutos y después ubico la hora. Ok. Minutes. And then. The hour. It's five past twelve. ¿Cuántos minutos han pasado después de las doce? Five. It's ten past twelve. Otro ejemplo. ¿Cuántos minutos pasaron después de las doce? Diez. Y acá puede ese past se puede usar intercambiablemente con after. It's five after twelve. Cinco después de las doce. Uh, ten past twelve. Nuevamente, vemos que los minutos van adelante y después ubicamos la hora. Este es un ejemplo. Puede ser cualquier hora. It's a quarter pass. Y para los cuartos o los 15 minutos, utilizamos la palabra quarter. Puede ser it's quarter or it's a quarter. Uh -huh. Podemos ubicar ahí el artículo a o no. It's a quarter or it's quarter pass. It's It's a quarter past. Un cuarto pasada las. Tenemos ahí con el ejemplo. Las doce. Entonces, ustedes notan. Siempre vamos aquí con los minutos. We continue with the minutes. And then we continue with the hour. Ok. Ahora vamos por los veinte minutos. It's twenty minutes past. The hour. Vamos a cambiar aquí la hora. It's twenty past, let's say, eleven. Okay. 20 minutos pasadas las 11, es decir, nosotros lo estuvimos diciendo eh, de esta otra forma, las 11 y 20. 11, 20. 11, 20. Uh -huh. Oh, 20. Uh -huh. Ok, it's 11, 20. Ok, perfect. Ahora vamos con los 25 minutos. It's 25 past. Ahora ponemos otra hora, cambiamos la hora ahí, las 8. It's 25 past 8. Es decir que son las 8 y 25, ¿verdad? O 25 minutos pasadas las 8, que es lo mismo, solo es, solo es otra forma de decirlo. Ok. Y acá, como les comentaba, pueden utilizar la palabra after también. No cambia el significado. Y ahora nos movemos acá, llegando acá. A la media hora, vamos a utilizar la palabra half. So, which means media. It's half past. Quiere decir que ha pasado media hora después de, o pasadas las. Y le ponemos ahí un ejemplo, las 12, por ejemplo. It's half past 12. Es media hora pasada las 12. So, that means que son las 12 y media. 
This is pronounced as half, half, half. Okay, la pronunciación es half. It's half past 12. Es decir, que son las, lo ponemos entre paréntesis. It's, okay. 12, 30. Las 12 y 30. 12, 30. Ok. Ahora, ya vimos desde las 12 a las 6. Utilizamos la palabra paz. Ubicamos el, los minutos primero. Después eh, la palabra paz o after. Y luego ubicamos la hora a la que nos estamos refiriendo. Ahora, desde las 6 a las 12. Okay, de las 6 en adelante a las 12. Vamos a empezar a contar los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora. Eh, empezamos desde las, desde las seis y media. Ok. Podríamos decir, it's half two or Y empezamos acá con los minutos. Nuevamente. Y luego vamos a ubicar el tú que nos indica para. ¿Ok? Y luego ubicamos la siguiente hora a la cual nos queremos referir. Let's have to, let's say, vamos a ubicar una hora para las nueve. To nine. ¿Ok? Media hora para las nueve. Ahora, nos vamos con el ejemplo que tenemos ahí con los minutos. It's 25 to 25 minutos para, si ustedes notan, siempre seguimos el mismo patrón. Solo que aquí ya vamos contando los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora. Acá de este lado contamos los minutos que han pasado. Ok. Ok. Minutes. La preposición to y la hora. Ok, ahora. Ok, it's 25 to 9. ¿Cuánto falta para las 9? 25. Quiere decir que son las 8 y cuánto? 45. ¿35 o 45? 35. Ajá, uh -huh. so it means it's 8.35 p.m. Le vamos a poner ahí. Pero... Ok, so how about now? It's 22. Ten. Vamos a ir cambiando ahí la hora. It's 20 to 10. ¿Cuánto faltan los minutos? 20 to 10. So what time is it? What time is it? It's 20 to 10. It's 20 to 10. Quiere decir que son las... Las 9. 20. 20 to 10. 20 to So, faltan 20 para las 10. 20. Ajá. It's 9. 9.40. Ok. So, I mean, it's 9. 9.40. Así que son las 9.40. Ok. It's a quarter to. Vamos a cambiarle ahí. Vamos cambi Aquí recuerden que le vamos cambiando la hora. Le vamos a ir a ver, subiendo una. Ok. It's a quarter to 11. It's a quarter to 11. So, what's the time? Entonces, ¿qué hora es? It's a quarter to 11. Quiere decir que son las 10. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. 45. Uh -huh. It's 10. 45 p.m. Ok. Ok. It's 10 to... Ok. To 12, let's say. So, what time is it? Faltan 10 para las 12. So, what time is it? 11.50. Mm -hmm. It's 11.50, right? 50. 50. Okay. It's 5 to, okay, to 1. What time is it? 5 para la 1. It's 12. 12.55. It's 12, 50. 
55 p.m. Let's say. Ahí yo le voy poniendo p.m. Pero podría ser al revés. Okay. So now, I don't know. Do you have questions about this now? Preguntas hasta el momento. Okay. Perfect. ¿Lo puedo quitar esto que está ahí en rojito? ¿Me dice? Yes. Okay, yeah. so another observation is that when you have an exact time, when you're not counting any minute, and it's an exact uh, time, so you're going to use the word o'clock. Cuando tenemos una hora exacta, es decir, que no ha contado ningún minuto, utilizamos la palabra o'clock. So and that's all, right? It's one o'clock, it's two o'clock, it's three o'clock, it's four o'clock, it's five o'clock. Okay, eso es cuando son horas exactas. So now let's continue with uh, some more details about it. Look at this. Uh, Daniel, can you read the first uh, part, please? Decide. It's two o'clock. Okay. It's five past two. Okay. It's ten past two. It's quarter or it's a quarter past two. Okay. It's 20 past two. It's 25 past two. Okay, perfect. Uh, Fernando, please help us with this side. Uh, it, excuse me. Is it half past two? It's 25 to three. It's twenty to three. It's quarter to three. It's ten to three. It's five to three. Okay. Three. 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 Mm -hmm. three. three. So because if you say the other one is this is three. Okay. Three. Es que estaba queriendo decirle y no me había fijado que ahí estaba. Que te solo que tenía que leer. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Um, but just be careful with that. Uh, three and three. Okay. Uh, we use, um, let's see, Edgar, you hear? We use at plus time when giving the time of a specific event. Okay. Example, the class starts at nine o'clock. The flight leaves at 10 to three. Entonces quiere decir que con el tiempo siempre utilizamos la preposición at, ¿verdad? Ok, the class starts, la clase inicia a las uh, 8 en punto, right? The class starts at 8 o'clock. The flight leaves at 10 to 3. Quiere decir a las, ¿qué horas? 10 to 3, what time is that? A las 2 y... 2 y 50. 2 y 50, muy bien. Eso es lo que quiero que ustedes abran. Okay. No la manejan bien las horas. Okay, we use it is or it's to answer a question that asks for that asks for the time right now. Entonces, ¿cómo respondemos? Nosotros siempre utilizamos el verbo to be para contestar. La pregunta es, what time is it? O, what's the time? What's the time? What's the time? It's, uh, let's say, 9.35. Or it's... Um, 25 to 10, for example. And uh, the answer, the answer, it's it is half past four, or what's the time? It's 20 to five. Okay, entonces ahí pueden utilizar ustedes tanto contracciones o no. It is or it's, it's 20 to five. It's 20 to five. So I prefer to use the contractions and that is uh, a little bit easier for us, right, to, to say that. Okay, any question about it? Pregunta, alguna pregunta, chicos, de eso? So I assume that you're ready. Estamos listos. I don't know. Okay, okay so now let's continue. So let me see, I lost the... Okay, so now we continue with some questions using what time. What time do you 
What time do you wake up? So now I need you to give me uh, some examples. What time do you wake up? Uh, Daniel, what time do you wake up? Do you rem I don't remember, but you mentioned something like five. I wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, 5 o'clock. Okay. 5 so o'clock. Aha, uh -huh, okay. 5 o'clock. So we're going to try to give the exact times. Okay, Um, you've seen the ways, uh, how to say the time, right? What time do you have breakfast, Fernando? Uh, it's half past 12. Uh-huh. I have breakfast at? I have breakfast at half past 12. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Edgar, what time do you brush your teeth? Oh, Dora, Dora, tell me, Dora. What time do you brush your teeth? And in any hour, any time. I brush my teeth at? I brush my teeth at seven, seven, half, half past seven. Okay, at half past seven, let's say p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's continue with the next question. Next question says, okay, so I'm gonna erase the ones that I have here. Um, let's see. Hey, Johnny, what time do you get dressed in the morning? Um, it's, it's half past uh, seven. Okay, bien. Ahí un interesante. Vaya, cuando ustedes uh, ustedes preguntan. What do you mean dress? Ah, vestirse. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, acá nos están preguntando qué hora es. What time? What's the time? What time is it? Entonces acá contestamos it's. Uh, 7.30, for example, it's half past seven. Pero acá nos están preguntando what time do you take a shower? ¿A qué horas te bañas? I take a shower, shower at, me baño a las, and you mention the time. Pero acá ya no es necesario contestar, digamos, it's, porque no, no es la hora. No es la hora que nos están preguntando, sino nos están preguntando eh, la hora que hacemos una actividad, pero no la hora, ¿verdad? Voy a decirle que hora es ahorita. Son las eh, 9 y 40. It's 9.40. It's 22 to 10. Entonces ahí ya no es necesario que utilicemos el it's en ese caso. O sea, aquí lo que vamos a utilizar es, decimos lo, la actividad que hacemos y luego ubicamos el at. What time do you take a shower? ¿A qué hora te bañas? Me baño a las... Okay. Y ahí ya sí podemos ocupar lo que hemos estudiado. I take a shower at, uh, let's say, seven forty-five a.m. Let's say, take a shower at seven forty-five a.m. or at a quarter to eight. O oh, un cuarto para las ocho. What time do you get dressed? What time do you get dressed? I get dressed. Okay. At, what time do you get dressed? Ideas? For example, it could be six. Okay. 6, 10 a.m. Or 10 past 6. I get dressed at 10 past 6 a.m. What time do you go to work, Dora? What time do you go to work? You go to work at... I go to work at... Mm. 
o'clock. Okay, eight o'clock. What time do you eat dinner, Daniel? I eat dinner at half past seven. Half past seven, okay. What time do you go to bed, Edgar? I go to bed around at... Uh, around, okay. Around? 11, eight o'clock. 11, Eleven o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Around is another word that you can use. Around también puede ser utilizada. Y en este caso significa alrededor de las 11, right? Alrededor, un aproximado. Okay. So now we continue and just let me check. I'm going to show you some things related to this. Let me see. Okay, so here we have some clocks. Look at this. So now you're going to uh, be practicing with the question, what's the time or what time is it, right? For example. So the question that you have to ask is, what's the time or what time is it? What time is it? Okay, what time is it? Uh, number one, look at this. Write the time it's... shown on each clock. Ah, ¿Se ve, Daniel? ¿Me ahí? ¿Se ve? Se ve chiquito, pero más o menos. Vamos a ver, ya lo vamos a ver. <ríe> ahí está. Tómale una captura ahí, le tómale una captura. Y ya lo hago un poquito más grande. Sí, se ve súper pequeño ahí. Vayamos. Si le puedo tomar acá. Okay, ya, ya lo tengo. Ahora sí. Examples. Write the time shown on each clock. What's the time for the first one? What's the time? It's two o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's two, two o'clock. Two o'clock. What's the time for this one? It's? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. So this is super easy, right? How about the next one? What time is it? Fifteen. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay, nine o'clock. How about the next one? What's the time? What's the time? How about this one? What time is it? It's one, one o'clock. Okay, it's one o'clock. Let's see. We just have o'clock uh, ideas here. So this is going to be super easy. How about this one? What time is it? It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. How about this one? It's what time is it? Seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Okay, it's seven o'clock. What's the time? 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. What's the time for this one? 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. Perfect. How about this one? 18 o'clock. 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. How about this one? 
five o'clock. Okay, it's, it's five o'clock. Five o'clock. Don't forget it's. Um, how about this one? It's eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Okay, eleven o'clock. And the last one, what time is it? Four. It's four o'clock. Okay, so that was so very fast and easy. So now I'm gonna send you the screenshot, and now I'm gonna yep. send you. Uh huh. It's four o'clock. So now I'm gonna show you some more examples. Ahora les muestro otros donde ya no están horas exactas. Just give me a couple of seconds. And I think I lost it. I Ah, ok, so I got it, ya lo encontré, pensé que se habían salvado por un momento. <laughs> ok, let me see. It's uh, game time, let's see. Um, ok, so let me divide the team. Vamos a ver, vamos a dividir aquí los equipos. Um, veamos... Empezamos ahí con William, eh, Car Mara, Carmen está bien, William, Daniel, Dora, uh, Team One, equipo uno, Edgar, um, Fernando, Johnny, Team, uh, team Two, ok, Oscar, Oscar, Team Two. Ok, so let's see, Team One, please select a number, select a number, Team One. Six. Six, number six. Okay, take points from team two. Dame puntos ahí del equipo dos. No tenemos, así que ni modo. Le van a restar los que van a ganar. Okay. How many? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto, Dora? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Fifteen. Okay, excellent. Okay, team two, please pick a number. No, I think no, I'll let the four. Okay, what's the time? What's the time? Five o'clock. It's yeah. five o'clock. It's five o'clock. Okay. Okay. Five o'clock. Okay, perfect. Team one, please pick a number. Ya se pusieron a cuentas con su deuda. Vamos a ver equipo uno. Team. <laughs> team one, pick a number. Five. Eleven. Eleven, okay, let's see, eleven. Boom, lose 50 points. <laughs> wow, that was really Ooh. difficult. <laughs> that was really hard, okay. Uh, let's see, team two, please pick a number, any number. Number one. Number one. Okay, what's the time? It's one o'clock. Mm -hmm. One o'clock, super easy. Let's see, team one, go ahead. Don't worry. Team one. Daniel, Mario, creo que es un del team one. Ya perdimos. <laughs> 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 no ten. Ten. Okay, ten. ten. What's the time? And this is super easy. Let me see. Uh -huh. nah, it's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. No me sale el que yo quiero que sea. No, no me voy a poner en otro. Team two, please pick number. Number five. Five, okay. Give points to team one. <laughs> Um, five. Five. Okay. <laughs> Un poco generoso. Vamos a ver, equipo uno, team one, please. Seven. Okay, seven. What's the time? Six o'clock. It's, it's six o'clock. Okay, team two. Pick a number. So I think that we only have exact hours. Team two. Eight. Hey, okay. Yeah. What's the time? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Mm, okay, so that was super easy. 
Um, team one, pick a number. Daniel? Two. Okay, two. What's the time? Hello, hello. Nine. Ten. Uh -huh. it, it's, it's ten o'clock. Okay, perfect. Team two, pick a number. Number three. Number three, okay. Easy. Tell me. Six o'clock. Six o'clock, okay, perfect. Uh, team one, go ahead, team one. You can still do it, guys. Team, team, team one. Daniel, what is Daniel? Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve, okay. Okay, what's the time? Uh, it says seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Uh-huh, yeah, well, that was seven. Okay, team two. Nine. Nine. Okay. Edgar, what's the time? Eleven o'clock. Uh huh. It's eleven o'clock. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Team one, go ahead. Mario. Uh, Fifty. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Eight. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve o'clock. Okay. Twelve o'clock. Team two. Fernando. Uh, uh, 14. Okay, 14. What's the time? It's uh, <laughs> 4 o'clock. Uh -huh, it's 4 o'clock. Okay, uh -huh. perfect. And the last one, team one. Ahí está la trampa. Ajá, ya, perfecto. 13. 13. I'm sorry, I chose the other one. Okay, what's the time? One o'clock. Oh, one o'clock. And the last one, let's see. Uh, team two. Ah, okay. So it was not challenging. 11 o'clock. Está repetida. 11 o'clock. Ajá, estaba repetida. Y solo salía la hora de examen. Así que ganaron con trama, ¿no? Es trampa esta. Con ayuda ganaron. Con ayuda ganaron, sí, porque se me perdieron los otros que tenía. Ok, so we'll continue. I have some dialogues. And we were going to practice uh, with some uh, short mini dialogues. Look at this. Okay, dialogue number one. So we're gonna practice this. Uh, we have a, a dialogue between an interviewer and Tom. What time do you get up, Tom? I usually get up about, at about. Interviewer, why do you get up so early? Well, it takes me almost an hour to get to school. So what do you think? Which could be the correct uh, time? 5.45, 6.45, or a quarter past six? Quarter past, quarter to six. A quarter to six, okay. So that's what you have to do. You have to write the, the time. Okay, perfect. So now let's see the next one. We have another dialogue. And this is about, well, we continue with Tom. So this is related to the lunch, okay? And what time do you eat lunch? I always eat lunch at, what do you like to have for lunch? I like to have a sandwich or maybe pizza. So what you're going to do here is to modify the times, right? Pues aquí lo que vamos haciendo es modificando las horas. Um, example, let's see, Daniel, and what time do you eat lunch? Select any, any hour. Uh, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Mm, okay. Any other example? Half past? Half past 12. Okay. Or? Or one o'clock. Or one o'clock. What do you like to have for lunch? What do you like to have for lunch? 
12. I like to have. I like. Or maybe pizza. Or maybe pizza. Okay. So I think we're just going to uh, practice with these two dialogues. Ok, entonces acá, lo vamos a hacer acá, ya no tenemos mucho tiempo. Vamos a ver, vamos a pasar ahí uno por uno. Vamos, Edgar. <ríe> Edgar, what time do you get up, Edgar? I get up at six o'clock. Six o'clock, ok, so, but try to use one of these uh, times. 5.45, a quarter to six, a quarter to seven, a quarter past six. Cualquiera de estas, gente. Oh, okay, yeah. I get up at um, 15 um, past six. Okay, okay. 15 or a quarter past six. Okay, why do you get up so late? <laughs> no, so early, so early. <laughs> well, continue, Edgar, here. I well, mm -hmm. well, it takes me. It takes me, it takes me. Also, an hour to get to work. To get to work, right? Okay, let's see. Daniel, what time do you get up, Daniel? Um, I usually get up at usually. about quarter to six. Okay, why do you get up so early? Well, it takes me almost an hour to get to work. Okay, excellent. Fernando, what time do you get up? to uh, Fernando? Uh, I usually get up about uh, 15 past six. Mm -hmm. 15 past six or a quarter past six. Okay, excellent. Dora, Dora, what time do you get up, Dora? I usually get up at about 10 past five. 45. 5.45. Okay. Why yeah. do you get up so early, Dora? Well, it takes me almost an hour to get up to get to get to school. work. To work. Uh -huh. To get to work. Okay. I usually get up at, at about. So you can say at about. I usually get up at about 5.45, a quarter to six. Uh, 6.45, a quarter to 7, 6.15, or a quarter past 6. Okay, let's continue with the second dialogue. Mario, Mario, you hear Mario? Yes. Okay, Mario, and what time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch, Mario? Uh, I am... I always... I, I always... Uh, perdón. I always, es que no tengo hora, pero lo voy a decir. Eh, I always uh, at lunch and one. At one o'clock. Okay, at one o'clock. What do you love? What do you like to have for lunch? Mm. I like to have. Uh -huh, I like to have a sandwich or maybe pizza. Or maybe pizza. Okay. How about you, Edgar? What time do you eat lunch, Edgar? Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. What time do you eat lunch? I always have long lunch at... um. Half past 12. Okay, half past 12. And what do you like to have for lunch? I like to have a sandwich. Sandwich? A sandwich. A sandwich, sandwich. A sandwich maybe? Or, maybe. Pizza. 
Maybe pizza, right. Okay, excellent. Hey, Fernando, tell me, what time do you eat lunch? Uh, I, I always have lunch at how pa past 12. Okay, and what do you like to have for lunch? I like to have a sandwich or maybe hamburgers. Hamburgers, right? Excellent. Okay. So now I'm going to pass the attendance list, guys. And I think we will continue in our next class. Continuamos en nuestra siguiente clase. Espero que podamos seguir practicando um, with the time or with the double H questions. Okay. So let's see. Um, just say present, okay? Okay, vamos ahí. Calvin Alexander Hernández Ramírez. Ahí. No. Carmen Amada López Argueta. Carmen. Okay, Cristian Vladimir Corbera Barahona. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Dora Trinidad Cornejo Cepeda. Present teacher. Present Thank teacher. you. Okay. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Present teacher. Okay. Eduardo Romero Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. Fátima Alexandra Martinez Castellón. Fernando Ramirez Monge. Present. Thank you. Gloria Evelyn Mengibar de Castellón. Presidents. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jonathan David Martínez Escobar. José Carlos López Alas. Jocelyn Mar... Ok, José Efraín Ramírez Reyes. Present. Thank you, Efraín. Jocelyn Marlene Mengíbar Álvarez. Juan Francisco Montoya Ruiz. Thank you. Kevin Alonso Lobato Ibarra. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Aquí. Okay. Oscar Antonio Guevara Carranza. Ok. William Vladimir Hernández Zapata. Present teacher. Ok, so that's all for today, guys. Eso es todo por hoy, chicos. Nos estaríamos viendo el día jueves. El día jueves. Mañana tiene un descanso de un día para que se puedan reponer y descansar hoy. Ok, so I'll see you um, on our next class. Nos vemos, chicos, en nuestra siguiente clase. Pasen un feliz Día de las Madres. Y padres también. Celebren la nada, celebren la cosa. Ajá, también celebren lo que hay con, con las mami. Ok. Feliz día, chicos. Nos vemos. Eh, Descansen. Bye bye. 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 See you.